Inside Them On. Inside Them On. Programme that talks about the latest events that's happening, new discoveries, trends, business experts, social media views, lifestyle, health and entertainment. Today's stories everyone wants to hear every week. Hosted by Francisco Porras Jr. here on the Nation Station. Every year in October, Oman celebrates Omani Women's Day. It is the day to celebrate their achievements. The event mainly focuses the welfare of women in terms of services whose positive effect reflected on the situation of women and their participation alongside men in the nation building process. Be it social, economic or political, Omani women have a role to play in every field here. So today, on Inside Oman, it's an honor and a privilege to have with us the current president of Knowledge Oman, Ms. Balkis al Hassani. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. It's my honor to be with you guys. Thank you. It would be the 11th year of the Omani Women's Day celebration this October 17th. What's the significance of this uh, event? Well, thank you very much, first of all. And when it comes to the question, basically the importance and significance comes by uh, acknowledging the participation of uh, the Omani women in, in, in shaping the future of this country. Yep. It, it is one way to say thank you for everything that you've been doing and still doing to, 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 to give the nation to the next highest level. Yep. And, and the importance, it is also one way to, 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 to show the, um, the Omani women mm -hmm. that this nation would go forward with your contribution. So what does Omani Women's Day mean for you in your work life? Being resilient okay. with all the changes. Mm -hmm. It means adapting the changes that oneself went through and yet giving your best. Uh, for me, it means um, doing things in quality. Okay. It means um, sharing the burden equally among each other. So you're currently the head of one of the uh, prestigious organizations here in the country. Tell us about your leadership and philosophy here. Uh, you know, when we talk about leadership and we talk about philosophy, mine is quite really simple because it is, it, is, it is driven by love and it is driven by uh, uh, optimism. Mm -hmm. And it's also a, a solution-oriented, I would say. I would always like... To, to allow people to engage when it comes to the decision making so that everyone is heard and everyone's contribution is valued. So for, for, for me to, to lead any organization, it's always uh, uh, important for me as an individual to let the other party feel that she or he is part of the decision making mm -hmm. so that they are not really tasked away from the, 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 the moving forward with the organization uh, strategy. Barriers have you faced uh, as a woman in becoming successful? I think, uh, frankly speaking here, I would say um, the challenges are always there, be it a woman or, 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 or a male. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to the woman, um, I would say the challenges was always about balancing your work life with your personal life. Mm -hmm. um, as a woman, you know, we need to take care of different various aspects in our life, be it at work and then at home and then with the family and friends. Mm -hmm. So the challenging was always to divide yourself in a way that you don't uh, make a gap in one area because you focus more in that area, if you know what I mean. Yes. So it's really more about the life balance between you as individual and a mom and a and a wife, mm -hmm. and, and a daughter, mm -hmm. and you as a professional in your own working field. In your own opinion, how do individual actions, behaviors, and mindsets uh, impact Omani women in general these days? Um, uh, well, talking about um, uh, today and how the Omani women have marked their position, mm -hmm. I would say that the conversations are more into... Uh, uh, given uh, the, the opportunity for, for a noticeable presence in many dimensions of life for Omani women, yep. you can see them um, uh, having appointed to many highest offices and in different uh, sectors, be mm -hmm. the government or the uh, private sector. And, 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 uh, and also that uh, the Omani woman now knows how to contribute positively 
into the into the country's uh, development and growth. How important is it for women to lift each other up, and uh, what does this mean to you? Uh, the Omani women, or women in general, they are the cornerstone for any growth and development of any country, mm-hmm. and they are the the the, the key element in shaping the future of any nation and they really need to work together side by side and they need to encourage and celebrate all the achievement that they have done they need to show support they need to support uh, show the guidance in order to uh, unleash the potential of each other so it's very much important that the 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 the, uh, the umani women or the women in general they they help and support each other You're the current uh, president of the uh, um, Knowledge Oman here. What's, yeah. w- what's in store for you right now, what, despite of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic? Basically, it's a, it's a knowledge sharing platform. So what we do there as a family, as a team, is to execute knowledge to the community for free. Mm-hmm. Um, if we're talking about the, the opportunity that we give in Knowledge Oman for women, mm-hmm. we give a quill opportunity to but to, to to allow the ladies there to demonstrate their potential um, I remember when I was a vice president of knowledge Oman for the past few years okay. that was uh, uh, a key thing to to appoint an Omani lady as a vice president where I look at the uh, team work mm-hmm. and I look at the project that the operation that was taking place at that time. Now, me being the vice president back then was allowing me also to, to learn a lot of uh, leadership skills to deal with different entities. Because, as you know, in Knowledge Oman, we don't have Omanis only. It's for everyone. And yes. even the members are from different uh, backgrounds and from different uh, nationalities. Mm-hmm. So that, as a woman, it did really give me that empowerment. To know how to lead. So before uh, Knowledge Oman, you were teaching a lot of students, especially innovation. Tell us about it. Well, uh, what I really liked about my job when I used to be a teacher was, uh, and that was my answer when I was first asked by uh, by the director during my interview, mm-hmm. why do you want to take this job? And, and, my, and my answer was simply because I want to shape the future of this country okay. and for me to do that is basically by looking at the future leaders of this country and those are the students and that was my uh, foundation uh, to start building my skills or the leadership skills mm. and I start to move that also to my students and to my uh, uh, future leaders as I, I always call them uh, and it was really unique because Being a teacher, you are not really there only to add information into their mind, but mm-hmm. you are giving them a full set of uh, life experience and a full set of uh, skills and tools that will equip them to the future, that will equip them to the real world. Uh, do you miss teaching? Say yes. I mean, that's something that I, I would never say. You know, there are a few mm-hmm. things in life that you say, like, you know what, I would never go back to it. Mm-hmm. But for teaching, I would definitely say I do miss teaching, I do miss my students, and I, I, I always envy the teachers because their their role is, is a very much unique role, and their role is very much crucial in, in moving any nation you know, from one level to another. How did you uh, apply your experience to uh, your uh, current position right now as a president? Well, basically, as I say, it's all about the leadership and it's all about believing in your people. Okay. It's all about giving also that faith into the people that you're working with. Mm-hmm. And, and, and at the same time, you should know as a leader, people will make mistakes, but then from there they will learn. Mm-hmm. I'm not kind of a leader who would... Um, question you why you make mistakes but then I will just sit with you and look for solution because yeah. if you don't allow your team to make mistakes you are not a good leader because you're not I giving see. them the right platform to learn mm-hmm. for them to learn they need to go through the hardship of a mistake uh, we're going to be back for for a bit and continue our discussion in just a while inside them on inside them on program that talks about the latest events that's happening, new discoveries, trends, business experts, social media views, lifestyle, health and entertainment. 
Today's stories everyone wants to hear every week. Hosted by Francisco Porras Jr. here on the Nation Station. Welcome back to Inside Oman. So how many people are under you right now? Do you have any uh, members that look up to you? As, yeah, at the moment, in Knowledge Oman, we are about 13 members. Those mm-hmm. are the core members, the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the key players, I would call them. Mm-hmm. And we are having around 700 volunteers mm-hmm. that, um, they, that they are there on call for, for any on-ground event. Okay. So talking about the webinar uh, on the 17th, tell us about it. So uh, on the Omani Women's Day, mm-hmm. we, we're going to have all our activities. Just because of the COVID now, everything turns into a virtual thing. Same with Knowledge Oman. Our activities now turning into the virtual platform. Yes. And on the 17th of October, we're going to dedicate this whole webinar to the women in general, be it Omani or non-Omani. Mm-hmm. And uh, the title of this webinar is Transforming Challenges into Positive Change and Opportunities. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we are hosting uh, Dina Bisisu, which is uh, the uh, C2C uh, founder. And uh, she is going to um, um, run the show alongside with our uh, Knowledge Oman uh, senior uh, um, uh, public speaking, Nabila Al-Barwani. Okay. Uh, now, the good thing about this webinar that we are dedicating it to the women, and at the same time, we are telling the women here that your challenges are always acknowledged, but you can turn them into positive change. You can turn them into opportunities. Well, the webinar is, as I said, on 17th of October, which falls on the uh, Omani Women's Day celebration, oh. and it starts from 7.30 to 8.30, Anyone, I mean the female, uh, they, are, uh, they are welcome to register on www.knowledgeoman.com slash register. And it is for free. So uh, we'd like to invite all the women there who are uh, interested. It's going to be on the 17th at 7.30 p.m. Exactly. And I have to also quote uh, our uh, speaker, Dina Pusiso. She said that, um, I have learned that there is nothing that is beyond one's reach. Okay. The only obstacles are the obstacle within us and the negative narrative we tell ourselves. By this, I would really uh, uh, join my voice to yours and I would recommend the ladies to attend this empowerment session for all women where we change the obstacle and challenges into opportunities. Wow, that's uh, incredible. How is this event normally celebrated, the Omani Women's Day? Uh, how about this year? Well, you know, sadly, Corona has changed all the celebration in terms of, mm-hmm. you know, socializing and getting together. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, talking about the celebration, it's all about acknowledging the achievement that the Omani women had reached and uh, celebrating all the uh, uh, um, milestone achieved by the Omani women. I would, I would say, I would just um, go back to my uh, memories with Knowledge Oman of last year where we had celebrated the Omani Women's Day. It was by socializing and getting together. There was some, um, you know, like getting on, on a dinner and then yes. there was some uh, uh, talks about the, the o- woman empowerment and how lucky we are in Oman mm-hmm. to have uh, such country that welcomes the, the women contribution not only that, it will also give the woman uh, empowerment. If you notice, there are many ministers now yes. who are appointed as Omani women, and mm-hmm. that itself as a great pride to us as, as, as Omani women. So, yeah, basically it's celebrated with a social event and, 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 and a presentation about where had the Omani women moved uh, across that, throughout the, 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 the years. I remember last year also I was a moderator in the uh, Omani Women Summit okay. where we had a lot of women getting together, skilled, talented women getting together and we spoke about various challenges that the, that the women in general uh, um, face mm-hmm. and, and how, uh, what are the uh, solutions mm-hmm. to, 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 to uh, overcome those challenges. Uh, in your own opinion, how were women empowered in nation building? The equality should be there. Okay. You see, mm-hmm. the the gender equality should be there. Um, I mean, I, I would say um, uh, many years back, you know, um, uh, where women used to be uh, 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 
caged uh, behind yes. within the four walls of their own homes. Yes. Now, today, women, they are the, 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 the secret ingredients behind any organization's success yep. and an economic growth. So uh, I would say it's really the equality that we should really focus at. And in Oman, to be honest, alhamdulillah, we had uh, uh, reached that and beyond. So what makes the status of Omani women in the Sultanate unique and special? I would say if you look at the contribution in the economic growth, uh, the Omani women had contributed a lot into that. Okay. If you look at the quality given in terms of um, um, uh, the contribution, it's always like, you know, it's marked very well. Uh, Omani women had proven themselves uh, not only uh, here in Oman, but even internationally. Yes. I, would, I would proudly say that I can label the Omani women as the new global Omani women mm-hmm. for all the contribution made uh, so far. How do you envision Omani women's status and uh, role in the future now? It's very uh, uh, strong uh, uh, um, uh, status, I would say. And I envision the Omani women taking part in, in most of the um, uh, empowerment positions here in the country, as she is doing right now, uh, from CEOs to ministers and, and so on and so forth. So the strength that the Omani women is adding to the society is uh, awesomely and it's astonishing uh, to anyone who is uh, comparing the Omani woman when she was in the 1970 and yes. today. It's mm-hmm. like a huge leap between two eras. Safiya al-Bahlani, who mm-hmm. is really the greatest Omani artist but mm-hmm. without hands, and mm-hmm. she had overcome all of those challenges to prove to the world art isn't only about tools, but it's about sensation, it's about feeling and emotion. Mm-hmm. And if you really have a passion, there's nothing to stop you but yourself. I mean, the list will keep on going, you know, and we would never finish. It would take us like a whole, a <laughs> whole interview just to give those names. But <laughs> I'm so proud that they had achieved uh, so high wherever they are. Any message to the women of Oman on this special occasion? Um, I would. I mean, you know, it's always like the same when whenever you give a message to 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 the women and from a woman. But I would, I would sum it up by saying, like, uh, my dear Omani woman, keep inspiring. Uh, mark your contribution to the society with excellence, as you always do. Because you are dynamic. You are talented individual. Mm-hmm. You are the future shaper. Flourish. Build your confidence. And be the source of aspiration and de- determination. To make your dream come true, live your life to the fullest. Never allow yourself to dream someone else's dream because you are unique. Wow, that's, uh, that's really great. And uh, in celebration of the Omani Women's Day, we now focus on women empowerment in business, especially within the community. It's been recognized worldwide and continues to grow in reach every year, showcasing yeah. Omani women. We recognize the success of each and every one of them, their achievements, their stories. This is not about superiority, but... It's all about equal rights for everybody and bring awareness to areas of society could improve on towards his majesty's vision 20 and 40. Thank you very much, Balkis. Thank you very much. Yes. It was really nice uh, uh, talking with you and talking about the achievement of Omani women. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's an honor and a privilege to have you here in our program. Any final thoughts, uh, you know, finally, uh, before we uh, wrap things up? Speech by his majesty uh, uh, in 1994 is very uh, near and dear to my heart. And he said, we call on Omani women everywhere in the village, in the city, in the urban areas, in the countryside, and in the mountains to contribute to the economic and social development with their individual abilities, skills, expertise, and position in society. With that, I would say we are following and we are trying our level best to reach the expectation of the, the late majesty and of course, our uh, new Majesty, His, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said. Pretty well said. And uh, well, um, all the best and uh, good luck to you and uh, all success coming up with you, you. especially in uh, your new uh, venture right now and in your new field. So, uh, congratulations and um, all the best. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Balkis. That's uh, the, the current president of the Knowledge Oman, uh, Balkis Al Hasni, in celebration of Omani Women's Day. This is Frank. Until then, thanks for listening. 
That's our show for this week on Inside Oman. Inside Oman. Tune in for the latest news and events on people and what's happening here in the Sultanate. In the Sultanate. Inside Oman. Inside Oman. Hosted by Francisco Porras Jr. here on the Nation Station. (laughs) 